Hi everybody, good morning. Thank you so much for coming to uh, watch my video. So welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Vanessa, AKA Koala. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so if you want to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about um, the fertility clinic. Finally, I already heard something about that. So my doctor submitted a referral to my insurance. Um, well, this gives my personal information. but So I received a letter from my insurance. Um, so it's basically is giving me the, um, the authorization request, referral number. And it tells me that according to my insurance, it says... The service requested is being denied by Sutter East Bay Medical Foundation, which is my insurance, because there is no cover benefit. This decision was based on your evidence of coverage. So basically, they're telling me that infertility services are not covered. Like the um, facility, cl the fertility clinic itself is not covered. So I did call my insurance and, and ask um, what I could do about it. And they told me, um, so that's not covered, but what it is covered is some um, basic fertility test that my doctor can do at the um, OBGYN level of care. Um, if you see those racks, it's because my husband and I were starting an online bakery business. So we were baking uh, bread and so I had to clean everything today because um, we finished yesterday and we sold everything. So I... Did all the cleaning but anyways so um i'm going to go ahead and reach out to my doctor because my doctor haven't reached out to me um <clears throat> i received this letter on friday um and it's already wednesday and my doctor hasn't sent me any messages or anything i'm pretty sure she's really busy so i'm going to go ahead and schedule an appointment now um a lot of tests um my doctor already um, took and also um, my endocrinologist because they referred me to and an uh, endocrinologist now is not like a um, OBGYN endocrinologist or fertility endocrinologist, a regular endo. Um, and they requested like to do like a um, hormone panel to test my thyroid to see my levels of, of uh, testosterone and things like that. So I'm going to put all the tests um, that my endocrinologist um, did and the results right here. I'm just going to type them. Uh, and also, my primary care physician, the beginning of the year, did um, she tested my progesterone. So I'm going to put it right here. And then my OBGYN also did some tests to see how many eggs I have left. So I'm going to put it right there. <clears throat> now, I don't know what other kind of test my OBGYN can request. I'm not sure if they can do like a, like an ultrasound to see the quality of my eggs. Like I, I don't know if that is a test to see the quality of my eggs. I don't know if my OBGYN can do that or um, to see if my tubes are not blocked or anything like that. I want to I wanna know if, if, you know if everything is healthy inside and okay. Um, I've had ultrasounds before. Um, when I have pregnant, when I was pregnant, they did a transvaginal or ultrasound and all that stuff. Um, but I don't know if they can see something there and they just, they just didn't tell me. They would have told me, but I don't know if what other test um, I can do. I do want to make an appointment, like I said. So if you guys can leave me a comment down below, if you guys know of any test that my OBGYN can order at the OBGYN level of care, um, because... Unfortunately, my insurance doesn't cover um, the fertility clinics. And I did call one of the fertility clinics that my doctor gave me on the list that are close to where I live. And they are expensive, really expensive. Like, they quoted me at $500 to pay out of pocket. Like, I don't have that kind of money. So, <sighs> for now, um, I won't be able to go to a fertility clinic. Now, I do have a friend, like my neighbor from the front house. Um, she told me that there is um, this lady. Now, this happens a lot in the Latino community. Like, they believe a lot of, um, they call it like sobador 
or a person that gives you like a deep tissue, like it's a really deep tissue massage. Um, so she has a friend, and I also have a friend, but she has a friend um, who couldn't get pregnant, and they gave her like a one of those deep tissue, uh, deep tissue massage, like on her uterus uh, area, and then after that she got pregnant. She had two pregnancies, and I I personally do have a friend that happened to her again. Like she was trying for so many years, and she went to one of those sobadores. And they did that, and then after that, she got pregnant. So she did give me a number. <laughs> I don't know if I should just give her a call. I mean, I don't think it will hurt, right? Like, it can hurt me. It's just a deep tissue massage. But I'm going to do that as well, and um, I'm going to take you guys with me to my appointment if I do get that appointment. Um, so that is it for the video. I just wanted to update you guys when it comes to my... Um, what uh, my insurance told me. I mean, it's a shame that it doesn't cover, but it is what it is. Um, so thank you so much for coming to my video and my Q and A video. It is going to uh, come up soon. I'm trying to convince my husband to do the video with me because you know it's it's better for both of us to be in the video. But he is a little shy because he doesn't speak the language. He speaks Spanish only, and I told him I'm gonna put subtitles, and he's like, I don't know. But I'm trying to convince him to do the video with me. If not, then I'll just do it myself and he can just be like in the background. I don't know. So thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below to know what other kind of test I can do. I can ask for my doctor. I'm going to call today or tomorrow to make an appointment. So thank you so much. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.